Bill C-45, October 17, 2018, the day recreational cannabis was legalized all across Canada. Now, more than ever, there is an urgent demand for the development of a roadside test for cannabis-impaired driving. After cannabis consumption, there are hundreds of molecules released in your body, but the four most important molecules to consider are THC, hydroxy-THC, carboxy-THC, and CBD. Now, THC and hydroxy-THC are responsible for the euphoric high and are known to impair driving. These two molecules are short-lived in the body and can only be detected eight hours after consumption, whereas carboxy-THC and CBD will not get an individual high and are much longer lived. Carboxy-THC can remain in the body for two weeks after consumption. This means a reliable roadside test needs to be able to differentiate between short-lived impairing molecules and long-lived non-impairing molecules in order to prevent any false charges placed on a driver. But here's the challenge. These four molecules differ by just a few atoms, making them very hard to tell apart without the use of large and expensive lab equipment. Similar to a block sorter toy, we need a cannabis molecule sorter. Now my master's project focuses on engineering a protein found in our brains to be used as a cannabis molecule sorter for a roadside device. Now proteins are complex structures with different surfaces and grooves that allow for very specific interactions with small molecules. The protein I study can interact with all four cannabis molecules. However, I'm trying to change it so that it could only interact with THC and hydroxy THC. It's like taking the block sorter toy and changing it so that only squares and crosses can fit through. To do this, I use the same technology as an MRI scanner to generate a three-dimensional map of my protein. When I mix a cannabis molecule, I can see exactly where on my map it fits, and I know exactly which part of the protein I need to change in order for it to only favor hydroxy-THC and THC to bind. This newly designed protein can then be used in a roadside device that will be able to quickly identify the presence of impairing cannabis molecules. And this new device will give law enforcement all the tools they need to quickly remove cannabis impaired drivers off the road.